For Jerron Boots and his Roymond Villa here in Atlantic City, I felt like Atlantic City was alive and well, and the reason why it was alive and well, and there was energy and there was excitement and there was electricity is because of a man who's 31-0, 28 Excuse knockouts, a 10th round demolition over Roymond Villa, the Venezuelan power puncher, and still the interim IBF. Welterweight champion of the world. If you're from Philly, you better stand up because this man's making noise. Please welcome, still undefeated, still the champion, Jerron Boots Ennis, ladies and gentlemen. Where'd he go, folks? Congratulations. Appreciate it. Go ahead, Keith. Let's there just get right into questions. Questions for yeah, Boots. Keith, we'll start with Keith. Uh, Keith Heidi from Boxing Scene. How you doing, Boots? Congratulations, man. Appreciate it. You got hit a few times flush in this fight. How would you rate his power? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, don't know. Like, I, I get hit, but I don't like get like, hit with a full shot, so I don't really know. You come with a nice little uppercut, though. It's called a roll with punches. Yeah. The moment you were back against the ropes, you mean? No, when I was in the middle of the ring, I was like pushing him back a little bit. He hit me like a, I think it was a left uppercut. I was trying to catch him before he threw it, but he couldn't win. It was a really nice little shot, but yeah. not feeding me. Well, it, it seems like the Stan Jonas fight is there to be made now for you, based on what just happened with Ortiz, and now Ortiz is not his mandatory anymore. What are right. your thoughts on potentially making that fight next, and how difficult or easy do you think that could be? Most definitely, that's a great fight, you know, uh, and I feel like that'd be easy to make. You know, he, he right here on, he on this side, we can make that happen that we can't get Brother Spence, you know, because uh, you know they got the rematch club, so. You know, uh, I take it, stay on this, keep them who guys, no matter who it is, anybody. John, congratulations, Boots. Um, you, you, you hit him with everything in the kitchen sink, and, you know, he didn't go in, you were slowly breaking him down. What were you going, you were hitting some great shots. What were your thoughts as the rounds progressed that, you know, he, he was still in front of you? Uh, no, I, he was, yeah, I knew he was a tough guy, but I'll get you in a minute. I knew I was going to break him down, you know, eventually, you know, because, just you know, he have his hands up high, high guard. And, uh, just be, he walked forward, walked forward, walked forward. You know, and go ahead more. So I knew I was going to eventually bring him down. I just had to take my time a little more. And I knew, uh, I know eventually I'll get it. And I got it. Champ, Andre's going with Twenty Man Boxing. Champ, earlier in the fight you had a lot of success using your jab. Yeah. You know, stepping around. What made you want to go on the inside and, and bang with him, even though you was making a miss? You wanted it. You chose to bang with him. Cause uh, I just. I've been wanting to walk to him. I, I just, I've been wanting to walk to him, and I knew, I knew I told my father, I was like, I want to walk to him, man. My dad, like, it's like, nah, yeah, just wait. He's like, go back to the boxing. And then my, my team was like, go back to the boxing, then, then walk to him later on. So, you know, it just, it come with the game. You just got to be patient and, and not resting. So I'm glad I got the right team behind me. They told me to just go back to my dad, box, and have fun. They let the knockout come. Right next to you. Yeah. Yeah, this is Maestro. I have a question about weight. We saw what happened in San Antonio with Virgil Ortiz. A lot of people think that might be related to weight. Can you talk to us about your ability to make 147 pounds and how much longer you see yourself in this weight class? Uh, I can make this weight uh, as long as I want. You know, I weighed at 145.5. You know, and I wasn't sucking down with drink. I ate the night before. I uh, woke up in the morning, drank some <clears throat> some water, you know, eat a little bit, you know, uh, I make 47 easy, you know, uh, and I rehydrate back up good, and I'll be, I'll be healthy and strong, so there's no problem at 47 for me. Second up. James Miller, the boxing source over here. Uh, you said after the fight that, you know, one of the things that you wanted to work on a little more was uh, working body. Uh, yeah. Do you think that, you know, in those first few rounds when you were, you know, landing those counters upstairs, that you kind of got comfortable with that and, you know, doing little things, show both, you know, showing your skills and all that, that you didn't, you know, really think about that too much? Uh, no, I just, I was in there having my fun. You know, my thing, you know, just, just having fun and being smart, you know. I, you know, I, I did go to the body early, but I just was only right. jabbing to the body. But when I was on the inside, that's when I really started. You know, touching the body a little more, and my pop told me to use a little bit more angle, stop pulling back. You know, uh, my team told me to stop pulling back, so and that's all I was trying to do, trying to be tight, and I trying to get hit with dumb shots like, here and there. Hey, just start you out, trying to put the magazine, put up in the corner. Chris, you said you hurt your hand. No, I'm cool. I'm good. <laughs> you didn't hurt your hand. No, I'm good. <laughs> all right. Uh, secondly, how much did the last fight help you in preparation for this fight? Uh, my last fight helped me uh, a lot, you know, um, 
just like I just said before, it just, I went back to my whole, this whole came by head. I was smart. Well, I always smart me with God, but I just went back to just having fun, you know. And that's the main key to to this boxing game: having fun, doing what you like, doing what you love. Don't don't go in there looking for the knockout. Just have fun, let it like just cruise and just find your shot. Don't look for it. Mm -hmm. uh, Boots, uh, Chris Murray, Philadelphia Sunday Sun. My question to you is that I think in the second round you went to the southpaw stance, and it seemed like every time you went to that stance, whether it was the fourth round, fifth round always got to him. Was it easier to kind of reach him to find him when you know when you went to the soft paw stance? I mean it was a I mean it, either side don't really matter, matter with me but I feel like when I was when I turned soft paw he was only looking for one shot and that was that right hook. And I knew that was coming and I was just trying to time him. And he really wasn't coming in like how I thought he was gonna come in but I mean I eventually got him so After the uh, second fight with Crawford and Spence, where do you see yourself fitting in the mix? And how serious are you with the uh, Keith Thurman fight, if he's serious? Uh, I'm super serious about uh, Keith Thurman fight. I was trying to fight him, you know, uh, in June, but, you know, uh, things ain't fall through. But, you know, hopefully he do fight. If not, you know, uh, we got a lot of great options out here. You know, um, we got still got Ubas. He, he, you know, he's a nice former, you know, world champion. You got, uh, got Stan Jonas. You got... Uh, a lot of other guys, you know, besides Bud and Spence. So, but you know, everybody know I want the main guys. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna be able to showcase my ability and my, my talent against those those elite level guys, and I feel like they'll bring something else out of me, you know. Boots, your last fight against uh, Kareem Chikazin, it was kind of a messy fight, but this fight you got a chance to showcase more of your ability. Yeah. How much more? Well, how much more do you have in your bag that we haven't seen? I got, I got a lot more, man. I, I, I keep telling you, I ain't seen nothing yet. It's only, only seen like 30, 40 percent of me. I, I feel like I really ha haven't had to go in my bag to really, you know, show you, like, show my true skills. What does 100 percent boots look like? <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Boots, one, one question. Even though you mentioned that the Spencer Crawford do have a rematch clause, there, you know, obviously if the fight isn't a great fight or whatever, it, you know, you may be uh, right at the top of the thing. Are you going to be in Las Vegas on, on uh, July 29th? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I'm being there. I'm being the building. You know, uh, you know uh, we're going to see what, see what they do. You know, uh, you know hopefully, hopefully it's a one-sided fight and nobody get a rematch. And then, you know, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be next, you know. Hey, Boots. Uh, you know, going off that last fight against Karen Chikazin in uh, January 7th, uh, what did you show here in this fight against Roman B? Um, just showcase my, showcase my ability to fly, showcase speed, power, defense, you know, angles, you know, uh, fly, I did, I did a lot of, like, a little bit of everything, you know. You got one? Yeah, boost. You know the division top to bottom, the contenders, the prospects, the elite guys. Roman Villa put up a pretty tough performance today. Where would you rate him amongst the division right now? Uh, he's definitely a tough guy. You know, um, I feel like he beat a lot of guys. You know, um, he comes forward, bring a lot. He don't bring pressure. I, I feel like he didn't bring that much pressure uh, to me. You know, but I feel like other guys he bring a lot more pressure, and I feel like he catch those guys on the end of the punches and things like that. He got um, he got a good career ahead of him. You know, uh, hopefully he get back in the mix and be healthy after this fight. Last one. Yeah. Your, your father, um, Bozy said, you know, when we talked on Tuesday that, you know, he's expecting to take your game to another level. Do you feel like you're at that point where you've taken it to another level, especially after this tough fight that you had tonight? Yeah, uh, I definitely feel like I took my game to the next level. You know, I, and it, it wasn't tough. You know, he was tough, but it wasn't tough. I wasn't having fun doing my thing. Any final thoughts as we get ready to let you go? No, I just make sure I keep tuning in. So, you know, yeah, keep tuning in so to the tour, the PIAC tour. You know, we we, we stepping and we marching. You know, uh, let's get it. You know, we, I don't got one. <laughs> no, no, I appreciate y'all coming out though for sure. You know, uh, you know, just keep tuning in, keep watching. You know, uh, on to the you know bigger and better. You know, uh, hopefully we get these these top guys. You know, Buzz, Spence, who guys, Keith Thurman, Stan Jonas. No matter who it is, it's coming. All right, give it up for Jerron Boots in this, ladies and gentlemen.